In this video, we'll talk about allergic rhinitis. Let's break the term. Rhini means nose and itis means inflammation. So if we think about it simply, it means inflammation of the nose due to an allergy. Now it is often characterized by runny nose. There are many key features of this disease. So first of all, the nose get irritated by some kind of allergen such as pollen grain, dust or pollutants. That leads to a runny nose, itching sensation around the nose and reddening of the nose. And sneezing is a most common symptom. In most of the cases, it is highly treatable with medicines which are available over the counter. Now let's talk about the symptoms of allergic rhinitis in a bit more details. So the symptoms include sneezing, itchy nose, runny and blocked nose, itchy and red sensation around the eyes and nose area, cough and overall a itchy feeling on the roof of the mouth. All of these things are kind of very peculiar to allergic rhinitis and they, these are similar to a common cold. One thing to be noticed is the, uh, the fluid that comes out from the nose is actually totally clear. Now the key cause of these allergic rhinitis is the pollen grains from several flowers and trees and this is kind of seasonal. The other uh, causative agents are like uh, dust, mold spores, dust mites, animal hair, etc. Now let's try to understand the immunology behind this allergic response. So in simple terms, Allergic rhinitis is one kind of allergy. From a medical point of view, this is known as type 1 hypersensitivity reaction or allergic reaction. So now let's zoom into the nasal mucosa. So these are epithelial cells and you can see the thick layer of mucus on, on top of it. So when there is an allergen such as some pollen grains enter our system, there are dendritic cells or antigen present presenting cells which can engulf these uh, pollen grains and display those antigens on the top of MHC class 2 molecules. This might lead to activation of T cells and indeed T cells secrete several cytokines which are pro-inflammatory in nature. This leads to a reddening and a itchy sensation in the nose area. Further, the T cell can activate B cell and B cell can get converted into a IgE secreting plasma cell. Now IgE antibodies are the key agent in this allergic response. IgE antibody can bind to the surface of mast cell and this is called a sensitization phase. Now these mast cells are becoming sensitized. When there is a second exposure to these allergen, maybe in a season there are multiple expo exposure to this allergen. So in the second exposure, the mast cell would degranulate and this would secrete several chemokines in its surrounding. One such chemokine is actually histamine. Now histamine can lead to vasodilation, that means dilation of the capillaries. Now the vasodilation leads to extravasation or movement of several immune cells into the inflamed area such as this neutrophil shown in this diagram. Also, it can lead to fluid leakage in this area that leads to that uh, excessive amount of fluid which comes out of the nose or eyes. Now, overall, the nasal mucosa is highly inflamed. And in general, near the nasal mucosa, there are a lot of mast cells. And all of these mast cells degranulate, make the capillaries around the nose highly permeable that leads to a lot of no, the, the lot of like runny sensation in the nose that leads to excess fluid and we can see it watering of the eyes or watering of the nose now let's talk about the treatment options of allergic rhinitis so as we have discussed so far the key causative uh, feature of these allergic rhinitis is the histamine so obviously one can use antihistamines to treat allergic rhinitis. There are a bunch of medicines available under the category of antihistamines which can treat the symptoms. Other than that, the nasal congestion is a 
problem during this allergic rhinitis and the nose can be decongested using specific nasal sprays or nasal drops which would constrict the basic, uh, blood vessels and that would reduce the overall congestion and the runny nose kind of symptoms. But it is not uh, recommended for children under 6 years of age. Other hygienic treatments such as salt water wash of the nasal uh, mucosa would give you a temporary relief. Now question is how long does it last? So it can last about one week but with treatment things can get better within a week. In some rare occasions thing might persist more than a week but it is extremely rare. So this video overall summarizes the features of allergic rhinitis, the cause and the possible treatments. You can go get many notes and flashcards in my Facebook page and Instagram as well. All the links are provided in the description. Don't forget to check them out. You can support my channel in Patreon. Also, if you are an Indian viewer, you can either pay using this QR code via any kind of UPI app or you can pay via Super Thanks which is present in the bottom side of the video. Anyway, if you want to connect to me, you can use all these social media links. All are provided in the description box as usual. Don't forget to like, share.